Let's talk about building codes and visual analysis. They're very important to be used in the design process. If we go to the load case manager and click on the load combinations tab, we can see that we have some predefined building, building load combinations that are always set up. Let's go to the customize building codes button here at the bottom of the list and we see that these combinations that we had in the original list are all checked. If I'd like to remove those so they never show up in the list, I can uncheck these various quantities and then they'll be removed from the list, thus making the list possibly simpler. Next thing I want to talk about is how we would add a custom building code combination. To do that, we look at this dialog, we're going to select Add Empty Set. And when we do that, we're allowed then to create a new set's name, so let's call it my code. And beneath that, then we can select what this kind of code will it be. Will it be a strength level set or a service level set? We'll leave it at strength level. And now then we create various code combinations we're going to use. And let's suppose that my building code is going to have one combination that's 100% dead and 100% snow. And then we want to add another combination to that. I hit the return key and I drop to another line and let's call this one new EQ2. And let's suppose this building code combination, I want to be two live load plus one wind. And now I have a building code combination called my code combination. And it has two equations it's going to use. If we hit the save and exit button down here at the bottom, we will have saved that and now my code will show up. That's, so that's how we create custom building code combinations. Let's look at how we can delete my code. If I go to the customize building codes button at the bottom and select my code, we'll see we have a delete selected. I'm going to go ahead and select that and then say save and exit and now my code is gone. The final thing I'll talk about are live load reduction factors. In design many times certain elements can be designed for cases which have a reduced live load. When we select the live load reduction button we see we have some predefined live load reductions and it's up to you to decide which ones you think might be present in your structure. And if you select them, as the note says, we will generate multiple load combinations with live loads reduced by these values. That will allow you then in the design process to select those reductions for your particular design element. So that's how live load reductions are handled. Remember, as you add more live load reductions, you're going to have more cases generated and therefore more information generated in the results of your model.